Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Hitler series. I'm Gunnar Madhivanan from Officers IAS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss our next interesting important topic that is regarding Semicon India. Friends, our government aims to achieve 5 trillion dollars of economy by 2025. That is by 2025, India should achieve 5 trillion dollars we should achieve that 5 trillion dollar economy mark by 2025. But in this 5 trillion dollars, government wants to achieve 1 trillion contribution from digital economy. That is, we have an ambitious target of achieving 5 trillion dollar economy by 2025. In that 5 trillion, 1 trillion dollars should come from digital economy only that is our sub target so for digital economy the foundation lies on electronics we have to focus more on electronics and if we look at the building block of electronics that is semiconductors semiconductors is the building block of electronics what is semiconductor it is a substance which will conduct electricity but by adding impurities in that substance, we can vary the flow of current. We can semiconductor substance which will conduct, it will allow the flow of current. Flow of current is electricity. Okay. That material will allow the flow of current. That flow, right, we can decrease, increase that flow of current by adding impurities to those substances. Such substance is called as semiconductor, silicon germanium etc all are semiconductor substances now this semiconductors is the building block of electronics be it your computer be it your laptop be it your mobile phones or be it your uh, electric vehicles or any space machines anything you see today without electronics without semiconductors you cannot think about a product so the semiconductor is very important for electronics so if we want to achieve, if we want to achieve that uh, 1 trillion dollar digital economy by 2025, then we should have good electronics manufacturing in the country. For electronics manufacturing, we need semiconductor base in our country. Or else in this fourth industrial revolution era, we cannot compete and be successful. For to be successful, we need to have a strong ecosystem which is favorable for electronic manufacturing. Keeping this in mind, in the year 2021, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology launched the Semicon India program. Okay, so the aim of this, so aim of this Semicon India program, if you see, number one is to widen, number two is to deepen, to widen and deepen the electronics manufacturing to widen and deepen the electronics manufacturing in India. So for electronics manufacturing, we need to have a strong ecosystem of semiconductor manufacturing. Semiconductor fabrication ecosystem is very important in India. The aim of this program is to make India as a global hub. India as a global hub for electronics manufacturing. For electronics manufacturing, we need semiconductors. So, government wants to make India as a global hub so that we need a proper ecosystem of semiconductor fabrication so that electronics manufacturing is possible, right? So, just having the intention of global hub alone is not sufficient. We have to attract investors. We have to attract investors. So, investors will be attracted when there is fiscal incentive. When there is fiscal incentive, government under this program has allocated 75,000 crores, right? Almost 75,000 plus crores government has allocated for this program to provide fiscal incentives to support the investors, right? To support the investors, government has set up an institution called as India Semiconductor Mission. India Semiconductor Mission is an organization that will help the investors which will act like a facilitator, which will act like a coordinator, right? Foreign investors are coming, I am the India Semiconductor Mission Organization. Investors are coming, I will welcome them. I will connect them with various states 
I will ensure that they are reaching out to the states comfortably and they are investing in different states and they are making India as a global hub for manufacturing. That is my aim. Okay. Now, government launched modified government launched modified Semicon India program. So, we discussed about Semicon India program. Now, what is this modified Semicon India program? Simple. Under the modified Semicon India program, for those who are coming and setting up semiconductor fabrication industries, display fabrication industries. So, someone is coming and setting up their semiconductor fabrication, semiconductor manufacturing, display manufacturing. If someone is coming for such fabrications, irrespective of their uh, uh, progress, uh, of, irrespective of their company size, irrespective of their prospects, be it a company or be it a joint venture, right company or joint venture irrespective of their size of investment government said if you are coming for semiconductor fabrication in india if you are coming for display fabrication in india you are a joint venture you are individual company small company big company that doesn't matter government says we will give 50 percent as fiscal incentive we will give 50 percent you are investing 10 crores i will give you another 10 crores 50% I will share, I will share the investment. This is the promise made by uh, India in the modified Semicon India program. That's why it was in news. Government started inviting the applications under this program. Right, very important from our exam point of view, both prelims and mains. So I hope you got some clarity on this topic. Tomorrow I'll meet you with another interesting, exciting, important topic. Till then, bye, take care.